Well, Toronto is growing older and in the process possibly lonelier as the city sees fewer and fewer nuclear families as well. There's also a growing gap between rich and poor. This according to the Vital Signs report released today, which breaks down the city we live in and how we live here. Who do you live with? My grandma. Your grandma? <laughs> how about you? Who do you live with? Just my roommates. Do you live on your own? Who do you live with? My parents. Your parents? Yeah. So what do Toronto homes house? Well, for the first time ever, there are more seniors than children, and people living alone are by far the most common households. Couples with children make up a little more than a quarter of households, down from almost a third in the last census. Now, almost a third of all families with children are lone parent families. The youth population continues to grow for now, but the steady decline in the number of young children will soon be even more noticeable. And almost 70,000 people are living with at least one roommate. So what does all this mean? Well, there are concerns seniors living on their own and others could find themselves isolated, and that can increase risk factors for depression and health issues. Vibrant communities can help offset that, along with programs that get people engaged. So is Toronto a lonely city? I wouldn't say it's lonely because everywhere I look, there's couples, people in groups, so I wouldn't say it's lonely, but you can get lonely for individuals. Would you rather live on your own, or would you rather be living with people? I think it's a personal preference. I would much rather live on my own, because I just how I am. I'm an independent person, but it depends on the person. And you got a roomie. How do you feel? I like it, because I'm an extroverted person, so I like having like you know, other people around me all the time. So you think it's healthier and better? Yeah, I like it. It's nice. On the positive side, the uh, report finds that Torontonians have high levels of trust and a firm belief that we as a city can have an impact on the world. The report says trust is vital to building relationships at the community, social and economic levels. To read the full report, head to citynews.ca slash extras.